you are watching Momo Beginner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hello Swiss, welcome to Momo Beginner Swing. Today we are making circle skirt dress for two year baby. Firstly, what parts we need? These are the bias tape. We need a zip for that and the bodice. This is a skirt pattern we are going to use. You can download this pattern free of course from dresscraft.com as well. And if you need variety of uh, or the different sizes, then you can buy it from it's a I have laid on my piece and did it in a square shape the fold it in a square shape now I'm making cone of it now I'm going to mark it I have draw the circle you can see there, uh, there is uh, this is kind of pie and I have measured it like that you can see by measuring the corners and now I'm going to cut it now I'm measuring the skirt waist which is 3 inch from the cone point you can see that I have draw the small circle here as well because we need to have the circular style here this is a self created pattern if you don't want to download the uh, pattern from dresscraft.com or you have uh, you want to make it by yourself just uh, take the measurement of your baby as much as uh, uh, high you want of the skirt this is about 10 inch in the final after cutting the top part it is about 10 inch in height you can see my circle has been drawn and we are done with our circle skirt cutting over here it looks like that now we start with the bodice cutting width is 13 inch height is 9 inch which is already mentioned in the measurement chart now I'm going to fold it because its back side is going to have a zipper we need to have the bigger size on the back side back side shoulder is going to be 5 inch chest is 16 inch side is 3 inch I'm going to make the armhole armhole size is accordingly according to me is 5 inch okay you can measure your kids cloth as well or just draft place the your baby frog over here and just make the draft from her frog or just do the, like this by measuring her cloth I am making it for 2 year baby This is the zipper part on the back side and this is our front and back side is done now we are going to start the sewing you can see firstly I am making my circle and I have just overlocked it from the hemline and now I am attaching some lace to it basically this is the bias tape which has some frill and I will I have completed this hemline with lace now I'm starting with bodice pattern we are preparing our front side first and uh, to make it some look nice I have just attached some lace the eyelet lace on the inner side and attaching some red fabric to it and I have just do inner seam and now I'm making some notches over here it is totally depend on you how to decorate it it is just my part if you wanted to cut this just uh, do the same measurements as we have cut it for the bodice and 
if I you can see I have uh, did it in a circular way in a half take it until the chest okay and just do the circular round over here if you want to make it a square then you can make it a square as well or just attach lace to it you can see this is a completely your area whatever you design want now I'm starting with a zipper because our back uh, back side is going to have a zipper so there is a quick installation of zipper or zipper fly We are done with our zipper you can see that uh, very nicely done now I'm going to start bias taping over here to make it secure zipper fly we need to do that and of course it uh, it enhance the dress features as well so it is going to be on the front side as well and you can make this bad step by following my tutorial which is going to link at the description as well and you can find by clicking the top icon eye icon you can see on the video on the left on the right top corner yes on the right <laughs> now I'm sewing the shoulders you can see that because we have did the inner seam and did the final seam on the front side so we didn't need any bias step on the front side now I'm just finalizing the our top area by having a finished line now I'm going to attach bias tape on the armhole as well if you want to give a nice sleeve to it you can attach sleeve as well the cap sleeve would be very nice or the puff sleeve would be would love to it uh, you can find my tutorial uh, on the puff sleeve, sleeve as well uh, this the last one tutorial is about puff sleeve and uh, the, the puff sleeve frog with a simple bodice pattern I also linked it in a description and you can find in a our top eye icon as well now I'm just seaming the sides here is the bodice final look now I'm going to attach the bodice skirt with it you can see the skirt waist and the bodice waist is going to be same so this is a tip for you it should be same it doesn't have going to have any gathers over here so I'm just going to seam it or going to join it like that just now we are going uh, we are finalizing the things uh, I'm just uh, doing a final seam over the joint part of bodice and a skirt which gives the very nice look if you want to attach here the ribbon or any fancy flowers to it it will give a new shine to it or you can say new fanciness to it or if you are making it as a casual then you don't need to be do any more fanciness but this is you can see this is my cotton fabric and it looks very nice so this is the final look of a skirt if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial as well thank you so much